right now i'll check for both of one's uh, children 2 and 10 if the condition is true right so right now it's not true i'm just going to make it true for once or should i keep it as this uh, i'll just i'll just make it false for now okay i'll just make it true for now sorry so this is how it is right so i'm going to uh, push one right and uh, i'll pop out the first child and oh uh, yeah i'll i'll check for both of these children perfect now uh, i'll take the max of all the elements in the queue and i'll also push all the children of uh yeah so what what i'll do is uh, when, once i'm entering into a while loop right i'll have a while loop right initially there's only one right so i'll take the max of all the elements in the queue so right now the max is one itself okay. right okay now i'll compare the max of the value let's i'll just call it in a variable max element okay as 1 mm. i'll compare it to 2 and 3 mm -hmm. right now the condition is satisfying right so now i'll push 2 and 3 into the queue okay now this is the queue and the max element is a uh, 3 now i'll empty the queue while pushing both the children of 2 and 3 into this queue so the queue will become 4 5 6 7 7 now again i'll compare the max element with the queue and that's how i get the answer nice now you will what now i'll compare the max element 3 with mm. all of these elements if if this is lesser than all of these elements 4 5 6 7 which is which it is then i'll just return true at, at the end of the while loop if there are no uh, nodes left in the queue then i'll just return true at any point if this fails suppose the max element over here was uh, suppose 10 so then if if it's it's uh, greater than any of these elements then i'll just return false at that point so when are you dequeuing the queue at this point uh suppose uh, i start the while loop right i dequeue all the elements and uh, i find the max of all the elements while also okay 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 i'll, I'll need another queue i'll oh not another queue or oh, just just one second okay so at this point i'll take a temporary queue right and while dequeuing these uh, i'll i'll push the children of 2 and 3 into uh, another queue and then i'll make suppose this is a temp queue right uh, it will have this elements right got it, got it. and, and then, then yeah. yeah i'll just so interchange what's, what's yeah. the space and time complexity okay so if i talk about the time complexity uh, what we are doing is we are going on every single element oh uh,
Okay, so if I assume that there are k uh, level of nodes, right? So it is uh, time complexity comes out to be order of uh, two to the power k. Why is it? Uh, so I'm assuming there are two. Uh, there are k levels, right? So we know that in a binary tree, uh, for the first level there are two children. Then for the second one there are two to the power two, which is four. And so on. So it keeps increasing. So if I assume there are k levels, in the worst case scenario, when the binary tree is complete, then I'll have to check for two to the power k element in the worst scenario. Yeah, that's true. And so, the space complexity? Oh, uh, space complexity. Oh, so I'm taking a q. In the worst case, it has to store two to the power k elements. Hmm. It it should be two to the power k again. Yep, yep, that sounds good. Can you start the code? Okay. So should I raise this or should I just do it below? No, no, let it stay. Okay.
let me know when you're done. Oh yeah, uh, I think I'm done. Okay. Okay, uh, can you run through the, this one, the example? Oh, yeah, so this one again, one, two, three, the, the one on the top. All right, uh, so when the function, it gets this tree, uh, it will first check if the root is none, which is not. So it will create a queue which is called pending nodes. So it will push the root node, which is uh, one right now. Mm -hmm. And till the queue, uh, okay, I should have called this pending queue, sorry. While pending queue is not empty, it will keep running the while loop. Mm -hmm. Now in the while loop, I've made another queue, temporary queue like we discussed. And uh, I found out the maximum element of all the elements in the queue right now. So in the queue right now, I have the elements of the kth level. And uh, in the next part, what, what I'm doing is I am pushing in the temporary queue the elements of the k plus 1th level. Right. So in the temporary queue, I have all the elements of the next level. So for this example, 1, 2, 3, in the initial part, the pending nodes, can it you, has... Can you write it down? Like, add a comment? Okay, okay. Sure. So, right now, pending nodes, this is just one. Right? And initially, this, after this point, after this while loop, it has all the left and the right childs of all the elements in the pending node. So the pending node only had one element. So it will have uh, only two elements, which are two and three. Mm. Right. Okay. Now in over here, this is what we are doing. We are finding the max. So the max would obviously be just one element. So, so the element itself is the max. And uh, in this part, uh, we are assigning the pending queue for pending nodes as queue temp. So the pending nodes now becomes the next level. So okay. yeah. this got empty. Now this has become two and three, right? Mm -hmm. So at this point, pending nodes is two mm -hmm. and three. Mm -hmm. uh, now while the queue temp, now I'm using up the queue temp queue. Uh, it's it's not empty. I'll just compare. Okay, I, I sorry, sorry, sorry. You end. Okay. Yeah, I forgot this. So uh, now I'm comparing the first element, which is the front two, with the max element that we had found out initially, which is one. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, not the condition isn't satisfying, so it will pop. Then it will check for three. Again, the condition isn't satisfying. Now it will call back again. Since the pending nodes is not empty, it has two and three, it will call back again. Right. So at this point, Q temp, after going through this loop, it will again first push the child or left and right child of two, and then the left and right child of three. So it would have uh, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, and seven, like this, right? Yep. This while loop. Okay. So again, uh, this will become this, and it will get. Uh, we'll entirely check if the max element for this, the max element would be three, because for the previous uh, row it was. The max element was three. So again, the condition is satisfying for all of these four elements. And uh, uh, this entire Q temp would be popped. I mean, it will get empty. Now in the pending nodes, we have four nodes remaining. These four, right? Yeah, that looks good. I think this will work yeah. almost every 
case, but there's the word almost. I think there is one case where it will fit. Oh, okay. So since you're saying it's just one case, so I can assume it's a border line case, border case. Uh, try doing what's that called? Hit and hit and error, no, trial and error method. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, use border use border cases. Start with those. Border cases, so I've handled the root is null. That is one case that always bothers in trees question. Hmm. Oh. Okay, 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 I got it. So I'll have to first check if uh, this is actually not null. Yeah. Only then I'll push it again for this also. Yeah. 